in between uh, in between your program in fact uh, uh, the program that has been scheduled here today and tomorrow um, I, I personally took this as a very important um, I mean message for me that going back to university uh, I'll be talking to the other higher authority at the university that this program we will be organizing at Kathmandu University next year and uh, I really appreciate and thank the entire management team at Kaidik uh, who has trusted us to be the bearer for next year. As um, I cannot promise, but at least uh, the, the, the very good hospitality that has been extended to us by PIDS here, Philippine Institute of Development Studies. So I'm, I'm particularly I'm here to see or to prepare myself so that at least uh, we will make you feel more uh, comfortable or more uh, what I can say I don't say more but kind of uh, you know we will not uh, uh, we will keep you make you happy when you are there in Nepal next year yes uh, the fifth uh, 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 Asian development studies uh, the program we are going to conduct next year at Kathmandu University and just to tell uh, Kathmandu University briefly about all of you because uh, I represent Kathmandu University I am a professor at the uh, School of Engineering and um, our university, I'm just trying to see if someone can uh, log into ku.edu.np. Maybe next time we will see this announcement will go on. We will make, uh, we'll, we'll publish uh, the, the students to, to make uh, mm, their papers to be you know, submitted for this conference next year. Uh, just to tell briefly about the university, Kathmandu University is uh, our public university in Nepal. Uh, we are the second largest university, we don't say the first largest. First largest university is Trivon University. This is the largest uh, governmental university that is established long, uh, long time back. And uh, Kathmandu University is uh, next to that one and we established ourselves as a technical universities. But uh, the technical things cannot, this is a website, you can have a look on that, ku.edu.np. This is, uh, this is located at about 28 kilometers, around 30 kilometers uh, from the capital city or from the airport. You may have to travel about uh, 20 to 25 kilometers only. Uh, you can directly reach to the university from airport. Um, so this uh, is located uh, as a Tulikhel, we call the small town, this university town. Uh, we, will, uh, we will be organizing uh, your stay there in Tulikhel or we can, we can literally still we are, we are discussing that where we will try to keep you inside the heart of city or, or outside that is we are discussing with your management team. And uh, the most importantly, uh, this university has a, when, when you are there, if we could take you to the university, if you spend some time with other faculties, I will try to see that more interaction, more exchange could take place for mutual benefit of our faculties at the university as well as uh, the your concerned participant here. Uh, you can scroll down there and you can see uh, a lot of our partners here. It's a Kengyu University is our partner also we are working. In Korea we have a lot of uh, institution. I think you can see, can you see that is uh, our partner institutions about the university? You can go. Yeah. I Uh, this is about the university. Uh, you can see uh, our university has the history and all these things. And I, I'm interested to show about our collaborating institution because some of you are already here. Like in uh, Korea, we have a Korean International Corporation Agency, Koika, we are strongly working with. Koika has supported some program at Kathmandu University that we are running. Uh, Korea Energy Management Corporation, Kemco, Korea Peoples. These are the, some of the non-teaching academic institutions that we are working with. Uh, 
in in academic uh, uh, where is collaborating non teaching collaborating teaching institution uh, with China we are working with the Chinese language council Hebei University Economics we run for a Chinese participant we have a Confucius Institution at Kathmandu University so we teach Chinese language also with a uh, Hebei University um, with the uh, Korea you can see with Japan we have Tamagawa University Ehime University University of Tsukuba Graduate School of Environment Studies and Nagoya University that we are working with Nagoya University as well uh, with Korea we have a lot of Sun Moon University Chombuk National University is our partner for Koika funded project that we are working on Kim Chok University, Korea University, Seoul National University, Kyung Hee University is also there. Uh, so we have active partnership. These are the some of the active partners that we are working with. Uh, others you can have a look on that. Uh, and uh, basically I was, I'm interested to say rather than this, I'm interested to say that we have uh, six, seven schools. Uh, oops, where is that? Uh, the School of Arts, School of, you can have a look on that at your free time. Uh, School of Arts, School of Education, School of Management, uh, and the central campus we have a School of Medical Science and School of, uh, School of Medical Science, School of Engineering, School of Science, and School of Law. So, uh, from Philippines, also last year we have a, uh, one university today attending. Uh, Ateneo Manila, Ateneo Manila. That, that last year the president from Ateneo Manila came to Kathmandu University, and we organized uh, the Asian University Forum at Kathmandu University. So why I'm saying all this thing is probably I would like to uh, trigger the curiosity in your mind that next year you will be excited to make a visit to Nepal, and we will be glad to host you there, and we will be waiting at the airport. Uh, to welcome you all there, uh, yeah. So uh, and how you can come because I how I how I did come is I flew from we don't have a direct flight to Philippines. Uh, I flew from Kathmandu to Kuala Lumpur and Kuala Lumpur to to Manila. I, I think probably you can do same way. And for the friends from um, uh, Thailand, it's easy. You can every day you have flight. Thai, you can make a fly from Korea also it's easy we have a flight every day from so Incheon to Kathmandu direct flight so no problem only Manila is little others from Vietnam also I think you, you don't have a direct flight to Vietnam you can come through Thailand or through Kuala Lumpur or Singapore yeah so, so I think these are the are from Japan we don't have direct flight uh, in <laughs> Japan you can come either through Incheon or through Singapore or Thailand so this is how I'm just, why I'm saying this time is this is the, most like this is the time that we are going to organize this event. And this is the most uh, festive time in Nepal. You can see in the Dashai, you, you were seeing that the greetings, the same greetings you were seeing in Nepal. It is the uh, largest uh, festival in Nepal where a lot of Nepalese that are working outside, they tend to come back to Nepal. So I have to, fl I have to fly back tomorrow say, because day after tomorrow I don't have a ticket. So this is a very difficult time for getting tickets and it becomes a little bit, you know, a high demand and high price so it's so try to book early so that uh, more most likely when we have fixed our dates uh, if we can if we can start code I will I will be forming the team there and we can start working on how to make you best arrive there in Nepal on time so and there are a lot of touristic places because Nepal is basically if I have to tell those who are coming for the first time I think some of you have you been there if you're coming there for the first time, this is a very exciting country. Even I myself, I'm not uh, promoting the country as such, but uh, but uh, the telling you that uh, this has been the place of uh, choice for this year. Uh, Ten most pla most visit cities, Kathmandu has been placed as one of the fifth city that we, the one must visit uh, as a as per some of the criteria that is set. Uh, so. So this is this is this is a good opportunity for us to show you about little bit about a Kathmandu city tour as well. 
so I'll not take much more time. I'll, I'll finish. Yeah. Uh, uh, Thank you. And 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 uh, it's always give me privilege to tell a little bit because you know uh, regarding uh, uh, regarding the tourist and all because Kathmandu is mostly touristic place and a lot of Koreans, a lot of uh, Chinese these days, a lot of Chinese uh, entrepreneurs are coming there and uh, even of course this is a lot of Indians also there, Chinese Indian because we border with India and China. Uh, China in the north and uh, India in the south, so uh, you can see a uh, lot of mixings between Indian and Chinese cultures there. So if you are coming there for the first time, I really uh, would like to keep you excited until you land there and hope uh, that uh, next year we'll be able to see you uh, from Kazakhstan. I don't know how you fly, Kazakhstan. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I have not been, so I am thinking maybe <laughs> you know some other time we can also make that event to come. So this way, I really look forward, and I really appreciate the president of Kaidek to trusting me. And if I have to tell myself what I exactly do from after going back, if you see there, you can see my name also. I am executive member. I can say at the university on behalf of university, I am a. Uh, I am executive member at the university and I represent vice chancellor's office. Uh, vice chancellor's in our system is like a president's office. So mm, in that scenario, so I, ha I will be reporting and I will take it very seriously, this message back to university and we'll make this happen. So uh, next year, uh, around October, November, October, early, this is, this is the time, right? This is the time. Possibly. Yeah. yeah. Possibly this is a <laughs> this is a uh, October time, and we'll try to see we'll try to make this happen uh, because this is a little bit for people coming from Philippines. It will be a little cold, uh, uh, but people coming from Seoul, it might not be so cold. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, yes. uh, Professor so Shiren. Thank you Star. very much. Appreciate. Yep, yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, let me add some for clarification. Actually, the, the now we are in a similar situation where we were uh, in, in, in last year. Uh, we had uh, the, the same event uh, in Bandung. That means uh, uh, we, we are in the process of uh, applying for uh, the, the funding for this event. Uh, so, uh, and the, it was the same in the in last year uh, when we had uh, and when we had a meeting with uh, Philippine. Uh, it was not yet confirmed uh, at the time of the application. So we are in the same situation. We are the, uh, <coughs> in the process of applying. And uh, life uh, always uh, comes with uh, uncertainty, as we know. So we, anyhow, we will keep our fingers crossed uh, because we have been successful by now. Uh, the, yeah, that is the, some uh, fault we may often make. Uh. <laughs> uh, anyhow. Uh, that the reason I am keen to uh, the, 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 the keen, uh, I am uh, okay the reason I am keen to the tangible product or outcome uh, <coughs> is related to this uh, the, uh, the the sustainability of uh, this funding uh? so nowadays the funding bodies wants to see more than hand shaking uh? so presented uh, that's all uh? so uh, so uh, that's the reason I am very keen to uh, produ produce some something uh, tangible, and uh, if it is uh, the <coughs> it comes to, uh, comes to, uh, comes out of the, the something comes out of here, uh, the book will make uh, our case uh, much stronger. So that is the, the reason I am keen to uh, do something uh, from this event. Okay. So thank you very much for your the <coughs> the. the uh, <coughs> some uh, entertaining curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we uh, move to the, <coughs> the last part of today's uh, uh, <coughs> event. So yeah, uh, we have, uh, as I explained, uh, we uh, have uh, some swap. Uh, so the third presentation will be uh, made by Dr. Pham Du Tuk uh, from uh, Diplomatic Academy of Vietnam. The title of the uh, presentation is the role of ASEAN for regional development cooperation, the case of Vietnam. Thank you. <coughs> yep. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Professor Lee, and thank you, uh, um, the organizers, for inviting me to this meaningful uh, conference. Uh, I am very pleased to meet uh, all of you here. We make friends. Uh, 
uh, I will share, I learned and share with you some information about Vietnam. Uh, and I learned about your perspectives on w women, on uh, development, uh, cooperation from other countries, from, uh, uh, from great powers here. Um, and I, be um, before I, I start my presentation, I would like to, to explain a little bit. Uh, actually, I will present my presentation tomorrow. But um, I have to go. Uh, I will depart uh, from Marina at uh, seven forty tomorrow morning. Therefore, I, I ask the, the organ organizer to re uh, arrange the, the program so that I thank you, thank you, organizers, for giving me a chance to speak to you today. That's the. Uh, Tactical uh, problem, and um, the reason is that um, on uh, October 27th uh, we uh, ha will have a renew family renew and uh, ceremony in my home province. My mother asked uh, all the members of the family to come <laughs> to home and see. Yeah, and annually that is the annual event. And uh, my mother is a, a queen my f in, in my family, so that everyone has <laughs> <laughs> that, um, um, follow her, her, her and, yeah, you, you know. And this, this is uh, um, uh, scheduled since the, the, the beginning of the year. Uh, and even I bought a ticket for this conference two months ago. This is not a uh, certain change. Yeah, we have scheduled uh, previously. Um, and now, um, I would like to talk about ASEAN role for regional development and the case of Vietnam, as uh, President Lee has mentioned. Um, and my, my, my thought here is that the, the de development cooperation is not only about the assistance. I read on mm, some kind, some uh, uh, papers and some research uh, uh, projects and some research uh, papers. They show that whatever you help other other others to develop, that is a de co development assist, uh, cooperation, so cooperate with each other and develop others entities, others people, other countries. So that is. Uh, develop cooperation. It's maybe um, uh, uh, longer and larger than the, the only assistance. So therefore, in my presentation, I would mention that not only yeah, assistance to do this, do that, and we have further, further co cooperation. And my presentation includes four parts. The, fir I, the first, on the first part, I go directly to the ASEAN roles in, for Vietnam de uh, de development. And on the second part, Vietnam not, not only benefits, merely benefit from ASEAN, Vietnam also contribute to ASEAN development so that we can benefit again. It is circle uh, development. And the third is that Viet even ASEAN's um, efforts and Vietnam act very active contribution to ASEAN, but also the region <coughs> is um, facing a lot of challenges. And the <coughs> last one, the last um, part in my presentation will go upon some suggestions for uh, Republic of Korea to foster cooperation with ASEAN in, in this field. Now let me get started with the first part of my presentation, ASEAN roles. Uh, therefore, there are, there ASEAN is very important for Vietnam. Uh, but I just um, mentioned here just four main uh, roles that, in my personal view, I think that that is important. Uh, the first one, the ASEAN is common house for Vietnam to live in. Second. ASEAN helps um, Vietnam maintain Iceland of environment to develop our country. And third, ASEAN is an assistance provider. And last, 
ASEAN is also a linking factor for Vietnam. How we link Vietnam with other uh, assistance uh, providers, for example, uh, ROK, China, uh, Japan, Australia, etc. And, and we all know that um, ASEAN countries will receive bilateral uh, pro, um, pro development assistance, but we also receive um, the assistance through ASEAN. So, so my, my presentation is on ASEAN role, so I focus on ASEAN. On the first point on common house, how? In 1995, Vietnam uh, joined, officially joined ASEAN, and the, the being member of ASEAN, uh, Vietnam broke the political siege and uh, economic iso isolation due to the Cold War legacy, you understand, you uh, understand very well, and great power politics. So Vietnam, since, since that time, Vietnam has developed friendly and cordial relations with other ASEAN members. So the countries, the big powers uh, in the region, we see that, ah, Vietnam is a good guy. So the, they uh, can develop relations with Vietnam, and Vietnam has more chance to, do, to expand and develop relations with uh, great powers, including uh, Republic of Korea, um, China, Japan, uh, the European Union, Australia, the United States, etc. A lot of big powers uh, started to move to Vietnam and develop relations with Vietnam. And second, how ASEAN can, can uh, sub, uh, to pro provide the, the security environment for Vietnam. Um, ASEAN, you, you all know that ASEAN operates on principles, some principle of international relations between countries. Uh, self restraint, not interf non interference into uh, internal affairs, non use of force and coercion. We want to be um, e equal in this, uh, in uh, re relations with other countries. Uh, and we, ASEAN also help countries in the region to resolve disputes in international, uh, in accordance <coughs> with international laws and norms. And you, we all know that for, for small countries in, and developing countries in ASEAN, uh, international law is very important <coughs> because they, um, when you commit to international law, it will provide the, the e equal rights and obligation for all countries, even the big and the small country. And uh, ASEAN also provides cooperative, cooperative mechanisms for the country in the region to deal with the common uh, security challenges. For example, terrorism, maritime security, natural disaster, nuclear weapon proliferation, etc. This inside inside ASEAN, with mechanism, so countries in ASEAN, you, you can cooperate with each other, and we we you know that ASEAN. All, also want to um, to establish a free uh, the zone free of nuclear weapons in ASEAN, yeah. And on the third the point is uh, on ASEAN is a um, de yeah, development assistance provider. ASEAN develops and finance projects through ASEAN mm, uh, big plan. For example, ASEAN Community Vision, ASEAN Master Plan on Connectivity, and ASEAN Integration in Initiative for ASEAN Integration. And all ASEAN mem members, countries, contribute uh, uh, finance resource for this to, to, f to fund and to, through ASEAN Development Fund, ASEAN Culture Fund, for example. And uh, through this, we can uh, um, implement some projects to devel develop the common um, community in ASEAN. So that this is the first road in de development cooperation in ASEAN um, that Vietnam can benefit from. And the second, as I mentioned before, um, that um, ASEAN is a linking factor for, for Vietnam to connect with other 
assistant provider, dialogue partners. Both you are both di dialogue partner and uh, uh, development assistant provider. ASEAN form partnership mechanism with uh, uh, great powers in the region and fi finance development projects. For example, Korea, uh, Republic of Korea offers assi assistance through ASEAN uh, ROK Cooperation Fund. It's important. ASEAN Plus 3 Cooperation Fund. You, you have mentioned before about this ASEAN Plus 3 and Mekong Korean Cooperation Fund. Mm. And f to take ASEAN co Korean Cooperation Fund, mm, for instance, uh, Korea, since 19, from 1990 to 2017, Korea contributed uh, about 7 million US dollars per year to, to, to this fund uh, to develop the projects in ASEAN. And there were three, about <coughs> 392 projects. You see the, the pie chart here, a lot of projects. Uh, and the, the largest um, areas is on people and to people exchange, 145. And since 1993, Vietnam has received about 2.7 billion US dollars from ROK in uh, 60 projects on traffic, urban infrastructure, health, water supply, etc. These are very Im important for the development of Vietnam. And I, as mentioned, uh, I knew previously that even the wom wi women cooperation between Vietnam and uh, ROK. You see the, the, the chart, high and high, high. Uh, from the ODA from ROK to Vietnam is higher than, than other countries. And we ap appreciate that. And Vietnam is a developed more and we uh, are very, very grateful to that. And that is, <coughs> so let me mm, move on to the second um, part of my presentation. And Vietnam mm, uh, contributes to the ASEAN development. How? First, Vietnam has tried hard to consolidate a common ASEAN house. And we, we think about uh, your family. All, all member of your family try to contribute to your family, try to do some and to strengthen your family. That is the first one, that contribution. And the second, Vietnam has earnestly fulfilled the obligation set out by ASEAN. And the last, uh, Vietnam has played active role in regional development gap. We try to bridge the gap between um, the, uh, in, inside ASEAN. Among, on the first point, how to Vietnam consolidate common house, ASEAN common house? Eh? Vietnam has supported and pushed up the extension of membership to Laos, Myanmar, and Cambodia uh, to fulfill the idea that ASEAN covered 10 countries in Southeast Asia. And Vietnam has actively built a strong ASEAN community on three pillars. Uh, and Vietnam has proposed to build, in, in which Vietnam proposed to build a social and cultural community. It's important because we are Asian, Asian con countries. We share some similar uh, thoughts and some, some similar uh, feelings and we understand each other. And e even, e even here, <coughs> you know, we can also share some, some fundamental values with the Western countries. Uh, and second, and Vietnam was fulfilled obligation. How? In ASEAN, to Vietnam tried to promote liberalization on trade service and its investment you mentioned today. It's one, one of the country in the highest rate in the realization of the objective of ASEAN economic community blueprint. How? Vietnam reduced import 
tariffs down to between 1 and 0, uh, 0 to 5 percent in line with ASEAN agreement on trade in goods. Uh, with this, yeah, the countries from Southeast Asia can import as export more to Vietnam. We reduce import tariffs and you can export more products to Vietnam. You can join it. With uh, Vietnam is now about 80 and 90, nearly 90 million people. So we can consume more. And Vietnam will remove about 98% of tariffs by the end of this year. This is a commitment in ASEAN. And uh, third, uh, Vietnam has played a proactive role to narrow development gaps among ASEAN members. You know that uh, Vietnam has proposed adoption of Hanoi Declaration on, on bridging the development gaps and chair IAA Task Force in 2017 mm -hmm. and um, held a lot of meetings to review and introduce measures to realize the IAI Work Plan 3 and raise funds for IAI, IAI projects. And in April 2017, Vietnam also successfully called on Republic of Korea to fund the Conference on Project Building Skills. It's very important for the countries in the region. How to build a project is also very important. And then we can implement and how to implement the projects uh, uh, on development cooperation in the region. And especially, Vietnam has taken the leading role in developing the, the less developed countries in, the, in, in ASEAN. Cambodia allows Vietnam development trial, triangle areas here between the borders of three, uh, three country, countries. And by December 2017, Vietnam invested in 113 projects with more than 3.5 billion US dollars, uh, about 56 projects in Laos and four, 48 projects in Cambodia. Uh, Cambodia. So we de develop together. I even we are less uh, developed country, but we try to de develop ourselves. Mm, besides, we, we, we ask for the assistance from uh, outside. Um, and be, um, despite ASEAN's efforts and Vietnam active uh, roles in ASEAN, the reason is, in, is uh, facing a lot of challenges. And I, wa I would like to point out to the, the one very important challenge here is the development, development gap in ASEAN is still high. Today, um, even pro Professor uh, Fra Francisco and Professor Won Hichu also mentioned by uh, different ways about this, <laughs> that for example, per capita income in, in the region here, Singapore, 40 times higher than Cambodia, 50 times higher than Myanmar. And uh, Professor Francisco made mention about competitiveness. He's, uh, talk about the, the how to, to build the competitiveness of a country. And you see the, Glo the, the <coughs> World Economic Forum in 2018, v very new here. Uh, you see the table, Singapore, Singapore ranks number two, but Vietnam number 77, seven. Cambodia 110, and Laos 112. It's very far. Yeah, Malaysia, Malaysia is quite good, 25. Yeah, in global, that's good. Mm, but Vietnam, there, seven, seven. So you see the 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 development gaps in in the region. Thailand is high, thirty eight. That's good. Even in the Philippines, you hear fifty six. Fifty six, one hundred and forty. That means it was high, right? And the reason uh, why. The, the development gap in the region is high. First, less developed countries, for example, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, do not have sufficient capacity and resources to uh, maximize the benefit 
of regional integration. And we have poor infrastructure, weak national institution, and no standard human resources. And, and one more thing I would like to, to point out here is that the small and medium size, the enterprise, small and medium enterprise, uh, size enterprise are main driver of economic growth in Southeast Asia. Uh, for example, in Vietnam, 98% of all enterprise, enterprises are small and medium sized. But only 20% of them can participate in global supply chain. The lack of information, limit access to foreign market credit, and uh, uh, science and technology, a lot of things they, 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 they are lacking in right now. But you see that the, the div I would like to, to emphasize the development gap in ASEAN. So this will uh, weaken ASEAN develop ASEAN in general. So we, besides ASEAN members, country, they can uh, try to to develop themselves by their own resources. They also need cooperation from uh, con countries outside, especially the developed uh, countries and the great powers. Uh, I would like and. Th that brings me to the fourth part of my presentation. I would like to come up with some suggestion for uh, Re Republic of Korea uh, to foster cooperation with ASEAN in general and ASEAN um, in every country. Um, um, why why uh, Republic of Korea has advantages here for the better than some other countries. ROK is a reliable development partner. It is in view, not only my personal view, but countries in Southeast Asia, most of them uh, view that uh, ROK is a reliable development partner. If, if you don't admit this, raise your hand and uh, give your <laughs> <laughs> intervention right now. And second, um, ROK doesn't have territorial or great power ambition in, in Southeast Asia. So countries in, in Southeast Asia feel that he is a good guy. Mm, uh, develop, ASEAN is, uh, ROK is a developed nation and it has financial resources. We do fund a lot of projects in the region and elsewhere. And they have high tech capacity, capacity know-how and, and ROK also does not attack strings, something that the United States uh, usually do, uh, does this. Uh, and ROK also promote, try to promote mutual benefit cooperation, uh, mutual understanding and strategic trust. So in general, ASEAN should support, uh, uh, ROK should support AS ASEAN to be a strong ASEAN, resilient. A powerful ASEAN, so that we can meet the, 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 the ch I want to, to, to demand of ASEAN, and we can, can uh, cope with the challenges we are facing. As, uh, it, at the beginning of my present presentation, I has my talk to you that uh, we approach uh, the, the development cooperation in, 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 in broader terms, not only. Uh, provide assistance, but we will all support each other. So that is a very important point, uh, important element. And second, you also support ASEAN um, mediating role in great power competition. In, in, in recent, recently, you have seen that uh, the competition between great powers is very, very tense. They also impact not only ASEAN, but also ROK and other countries in the region. And we should um, uh, have a, a cohesive voice uh, on calling on great power to avoid uh, encounters and incidents uh, uh, anywhere. And um, we, we support ASEAN as a mediator 
and to settle the disputes by peaceful means in accordance with international <coughs> laws and United Nations Convention and resolutions. And try, we try to maintain the external uh, peaceful environment in the region for the countries, for every country here in ASEAN and, and Asia to develop. And specifically, I would like to, 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 to suggest some uh, critical uh, point, critical ideas here that uh, our okay has developed a new southern policy. It's, um, Professor Li Yun Yong and Professor, Professor Park Chi Won this morning said that uh, this may, the, the, this new southern policy may be vague and <coughs> and um, uh, ambitious, something like that. But I think that they have real real uh, intention and the real uh, uh, goals to to develop and cooperation with ASEAN. So you align this policy with ASEAN uh, plans, big, big plans, community vision, and et cetera, and master plan on ASEAN connectivity, IAI work plan, and Mekong sub region development. And especially, more importantly for, for Vietnam, I mean, other country in, uh, some country in mainland Southeast Asia, that strengthen connectivity in uh, Cambodia, Laos, Viet Myanmar, Vietnam countries. And I would like to come back to the, the development gaps in ASEAN. If you help this country, we narrow the, down the development gaps in ASEAN. And you see the, the Mekong subregion economic corridor is here a lot. Of you, have, you have done this, but you increase more uh, cooperation <coughs> with other countries. So, you increase financial support and, and expand areas of assistance on green growth. So in, in new situation, you focus on green growth, environmental protection, education system upgrade, and capacity building for white collar worker. It's important. And agricultural technology. And you empower the small and medium enterprise as far as I know, uh, Republic of Korea also has a lot of um, uh, small and, and medium enterprise. They are also the main driver of, uh, of um, Republic of Korea economy. But, you, but you, are, you are developed, so you can share your experience on this to, to country in Southeast Asia. You can send the hu how to develop the human resource and best practice, and how mm, ca the, the small and mm, uh, medium enterprise in in Vietnam and country in the region can, can approach to the credit from government. The government has developed a policy and system like this, and um, and I also want to 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 suggest one more. Uh, idea is that you can increase maritime cooperation with the country in region. You f in 2012, ASEAN and Republic of Korea has signed the action plan on this issue, but uh, it has not been uh, implemented very well. And you, f you focus on other uh, areas. Uh, so in action, in action plan, there is two important points, marine environment protection and sustainable man management of fisheries through exchange information and expertise. So we do the first, first, first thing first, we exchange information, exchange expertise with each other and develop measures to harmonize the technological standard, develop human resources and promote investment in fishery industry. The, this in this new, new, new because you have not implemented this. It's old because you cited Asian plan in 2012. 
just six, six years, years ago. And the, the only thing, the only uh, thing is that we should implement it. And before concluding my presentation, well, I take a lot of time from you today, and I'm the last man, the last soldier here <laughs> of today's conference. So I um, would like to repeat four points of in my presentation. First, ASEAN is a common house for Vietnam, not only Vietnam, for, for 10 ASEAN member states. And second, Vietnam becomes an active member. We, we, we are newcomer, but Vietnam is trying to be active uh, in promote and build a strong ASEAN. And third, uh, despite ASEAN members' efforts, the region is still facing a lot of challenges, particularly the development gap, as I mentioned in my presentation. And fourth, Republic of Korea is a reliable development partner of ASEAN. So Seoul could consider increasing assistance to the region, especially Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar countries. They are less developed than other countries in, in ASEAN uh, to narrow the development gap in, in, in the region. And you also expand the areas of assistance to marine environment protection and fishery management. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> it's very cha cha challenging. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm I, I'm supposed to, uh, as you all are aware, I'm this my comments are actually called out from my uh, from the comments that I wrote, trying to piece together all three presentations that will be discussed yesterday. So, uh, if this uh, tomorrow, um, <laughs> if this sounds incoherent, um, I apologize. Um, but Dr. Thuk presented uh, Vietnam's contribution in support of achieving um, a deeper integration of the ASEAN economic community. Uh, and, uh, uh, but maybe to discuss his paper, um, let me draw from um, uh, the results of one a publication that was released uh, when the Philippines hosted the ASEAN. ASEAN at 50, because that publication reflects what ASEAN wishes to achieve by 2025. And, um, and it covers also one of the main issues that's being um, ad talked about in the region, which is, um, which also Professor Thuk discussed a little bit on, is um, environmental sustainability given that most of the countries in the region are prone to disaster. And we can see that in the results of the ASEAN and 50 publication, that one of the aspirations is to see an ASEAN that is able to anticipate, respond, and recover faster together from natural disasters. <coughs> so cooperation really among the countries, especially in the face of disaster, is important. And related to this is an ASEAN where its key cities are less polluted and more livable than they are today. The role, and uh, given that this is the aspiration, perhaps the role should be for an ASEAN that is a producer and a user of knowledge on disaster resiliency, and it's a leader in the application of innovations in clear en clean energy and technology, and an effective and efficient user of development aid. As a region, ASEAN should be able to undertake collaborative, multi-state climate change mitigating projects 
that could be funded by development aid or perhaps we could fund ourselves. And given that, in the same, and given that I welcome uh, Professor Thuk's first role of ASEAN that he mentioned in his paper. That is, I quote, ASEAN develops and finances projects through cooperation among ASEAN member states. As Professor Thuk has discussed, ASEAN has provided funding, for example, the ASEAN Infrastructure Fund, ASEAN Development Fund, and ASEAN Cultural Fund in support of achieving the AEC. But I wish to highlight other funds which are more specific to climate change and environmental sustainability. For instance, the ASEAN Social Forestry Network Strategic Response Fund, that's long, which aims to integrate social forestry into the climate change adaptation and mitigation strategies of ASEAN and its member states, particularly because of its role in using ASEAN funds to analyze and study regional issues of environmental sustainability and forestry management. Because in the region, especially in the CLMB area, regions, um, we share borders. And, for, and in part of the, those borders are mountains and forests. And it's important that we, a country does not just study the forest for its own for itself, but also to share the findings and discussions together with people sharing its borders. In addition, ASEAN, ASEAN should be able to demonstrate to donors that the region is where the climate change mitigation aid would be most effective. Professor Thuk presents how ASEAN as a group can collaborate with other states like the Republic of Korea to protect marine environment and ensure sustainable management of fishery stock in the West Philippine or South China Sea. If the implementation is, very, is done very well, the ASEAN, RO, the ASEAN and Republic of Korea plan of action to implement the Joint Declaration on Comprehensive Cooperation Partnership could even serve as a template for ASEAN to harness development aid and to use it for environmental change adaptations and partner with other um, aid providing countries. To effectively play these roles, it is important to address one of the key characteristics of ASEAN, which Professor Thuk has alluded to in his introduction in the paper. And this is the divergence of priorities stemming from the disparity in economic and development status among uh, status of the ASEAN member states. But in this diversity, ASEAN finds its strength. And I quote Professor Drisdale when he said that the diversity in stages of development, economic endowments, institutions, culture, religion, and ethnicity may appear to have been an enduring source of regional political fragility. Economically, however, it was a source, it is a fountain of strength offering opportunity for specialization that has multiplied gains from trade of growth. And there are lessons from this which we can learn, especially in the existing landscape. Professor Thuk has presented one. We can learn from, from Vietnam's role in the cambodia lao pdr vietnam Triangle development triangle that um, ASEAN member states who are leading in the development aspect can even play certain roles and assist those who are falling behind. And um, maybe just some few points that also I would probably like to ask uh, Professor Thuk. Um, related to the future of ASEAN and the challenges we are facing today, in a world that is amid a digital revolution and digital technologies, as we have heard in the earlier presentations, digital technologies and platforms that have been reshaping how businesses conduct their transactions and interact with one another. How can ASEAN utilize these digital technologies to, develop, to cooperate and develop in the region? And maybe in a similar thread, especially because um, we are hearing these um, issues coming up now, we are hearing, um, for example, in the face of Brexit and uh, um, populist and more um, nation-centered um, policies, how can we address the possible increase of populism? 
And this is and this tries to bring us away from instead of cooperating, but just looking at ourselves. With digital tools being abused to spread false news or even profile people, there is a need for AMS, for ASEAN member states, to work together to ensure that there is some sort of coherence among the policies of um, these member states. And um, those are, are my points. Thank you very much. Dr. Uh, Professor Kim Jun uh, for his comment uh, on the presentation paper. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, very insightful presentations. The role of ASEAN for Regional Development Cooperation case of Vietnam. Uh, because uh, uh, previous commenter already mentioned about ASEAN, the role of ASEAN in this size, so I wouldn't repeat again the role of ASEAN, but I would like a lot of different approaches about uh, the regional level in terms of the, what the Vietnam talking about the uh, regional integration side, how could in developed uh, in the, the co uh, to integrate it with the firm level or uh, country level, uh, you know, assistance and development. So uh, maybe I think uh, uh, based on uh, your paper, you'd like to discuss uh, the like peace or economic cooperation and linkage and connectivity. But I would like to focus on the connectivity side, which is uh, I think one of the most important part of this paper. So. If you think about the connectivity, I think it will be very important to think about the firm level, the value chain. For instance, uh, likewise in Chinese or Korean or Japanese, we would like to have similar terms. Let's say in Chinese term is jituan, in Korean term is group, and rather Japanese is geireju, something like. So this would be like um, like a big firms or big size enterprise oriented development in the previous uh, what we have and i'm not saying this is all right or or you know correct approaches but in vietnam i think it will be have somehow to insight into the past development of the experience of korea or experience of other countries so it could possible to have some leading companies such as like um, big state-owned enterprise to uh, to privatize as as the head of the uh, uh, development. Then it will be have related SMEs. So that means it could be created some the national level like a national champion or enterprise. That means create some clusters. So it will be possible to reading as not saying that is uh, as the I'm not saying I'm not talking about the readers of this a area, but reading firms, reading national to develop some of your industry or some of them. Maybe you can cooperate with the other ASEAN member, but I think it will be very important to the national level to develop a such initiative to create something in this. So because I just visited a uh, couple of months ago in uh, Hui government, Hui uh, district, uh, Hui, uh, yeah, Hui, Hui, yeah, Hui, uh, regional uh, government, and this area is uh, attract some uh, foreign investors from South Korea, and I visit the industrial uh, district in Hui, but it's just empty land is big empty land not many you know firms of there so maybe um, uh, the government as local government or maybe central government to create something in before you just uh, doing in the and the empty huge land it could create some the domestic firms or domestic small enterprise to be there as the link with the foreign direct investors so that could be somehow you can have create some value chains. 
So it will be great opportunity to have, as you mentioned before, as like um, Cambodia, Laos, or Myanmar, that you can have some kind of like a triangle, whatever, you know, uh, make use of this uh, global value chain. So I think it would be very uh, interested you could uh, mention about this regional development in the sense of actual, you know, or some tangible, you know, output or outcomes over there. Not just saying or talking about the initiative or in something like um, we can say, oh, here is the initiative to ASEAN. Here is the ini another initiative. To so maybe there is some meat in their contents. Something like it's tangible. So that means you could say something in an in a tangible lot like uh, what pre that our is president. That's my brand word. Yeah, no, like a, <laughs> like a book. <laughs> so I think it's um, something in okay, in firm level developed. So that's why. How can you cope with this in regional development side? So that is what I would like to emphasize in your paper. So I think in the core part, I didn't mention no one didn't talk too much, but uh, that's what I would like to say something about it. Maybe other detailed project could be somehow approaches in the uh, Vietnam government plan that this plan is something like like huge and it looks very uh, uh, bright and mysterious and a blueprint. However, there is, there is nothing in very actual timetable to reach on that things. So if you say something about the, the master plan, you could have very detailed implementing and the exercise on these uh, outcome or outputs over there. So that's what I would like to, uh, to mention in your paper. But I think it over, you know, uh, theme is, uh, of course, it is very much, you know, workable. However, the, the actual contents, maybe I think I would like to say something intangible things, maybe firm level uh, analysis would be very much useful for you to have a reach on their goal. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Do you want to respond to the to comment uh, first? Thank you, Mr. Kim, mm. Professor Kimba, and Professor I don't see your Kim. Yeah. Kim. Uh, to Kim. Thank you for your comments. And I would like to respond to to Professor Kimba. You talk about the environment and climate change is very important for the country in Eurasia, even. Uh, the Philippines and Vietnam, we are facing, even, even China, you are facing a lot of um, storms recently, right? Uh, very important in the South China Sea. When storm first pass through uh, Philippines, yeah. you, you are facing <laughs> first and then go to the, the South, sea, South China Sea and to Vietnam or to China somewhere there. It's very, very problematic. And um, you would, um, be, before, before we receive the, the finances, I think that financial assistance from the donors, regional donors, we have to receive the moral support. <laughs> that is also one kind of support. It's also the development support. So when we, we, feel, we feel more comfortable, we feel stronger, so that, that is also development. We are de development. And on the digital, Res revol revolution, how ASEAN can, can realize this. I think that uh, first, um, uh, uh, we, the, the ASEAN countries, it's very difficult for them to, to, do, uh, to, to access to the, the, the core technology of a digital. So we are trying to, to, to develop some kind of um, digital economy, digital cities in ASEAN. But that is w we effort, but we have to to to, to seek the uh, assistance and cooperation from the the, the tech yeah, developed technology uh, country, Australia, South Korea, uh, and Japan, United States, European countries, etc. They have more resources on on this 
I, I, I would point out the uh, emphasize the core technology in, in digital areas. And about the populist the populism in the region is very problematic for ASEAN both and how to how to to um, develop ASEAN centrality something like that. Uh, and I think that besides each country, every country uh, focus on their uh, self interest. I even the pe pe people, it's the same country, it's the same. We are have the same approach. Each each person, we try to develop ourselves first, mm -hmm. and then we care about yeah. the, the the community, uh, them other members. <coughs> and but when we we try to 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 um, uh, maximize our interests, we have to respect other people's interests also. So we we harmonize our interests so that we can develop with each other. On, uh, on pro pro Professor Kim, thank you very much for your, your intervention and your comments on Vietnam um, uh, development. And, um, and I, I also report to one thing that the, the assistant providers also choose uh, the area where they can invest. Yeah, it is important. Yeah, in, in each country, as um, mm, Professor uh, Francis Go. Mm. This uh, he him mm. talk about the, the areas where the w which area is it more competitive. Mm. So the donors yeah. also mm. have yeah, the I uh, view to choi choose. Do you want to? S uh, I think uh, what be, be short, please. Be very short. Uh, yeah. very short. <laughs> uh, what we have uh, think or see the competitiveness on Vietnam. Mm it will be very huge. So that's why mm -hmm. Vietnam attracts so many, you know, mm -hmm. uh, development assistance fund. Yeah. It's very competitive once you uh, enter Vietnam to assist uh, your country. You. So you know what this area of development, like textile or mm -hmm. electronic or mm -hmm. many area would be very mm -hmm. competitive. So uh, what we have to see is uh, as what China did, what Korea did, what Japan did, is based on the industrial policy to create or nurture some big enterprise is very necessary mm. in the beginning stage because once we have countries competitiveness based on the firm mm. that's what we have developed and to I employ mm. uh, people local people so that's why I think uh, uh, not just to depend on the foreign direct investment or foreign side mm. What they did is uh, government side nurture high technology, science, and people do some because pe Vietnam people are very smart, mm -hmm. so run very quickly. That's what you can do is nurture your technician to employ their company, then then nurture the firm. That's what you have competitiveness mm -hmm. to compete other uh, countries as well. So. That's what you have lots of, you know, consulting paper mm -hmm. based on different country, mm -hmm. even c including Quaker or including JICA, many countries did. Mm -hmm. So you have a like, list of the uh, sector, you did effort to make them. Mm -hmm. Because China also did a similar path to the national level to create their ch national champion the core national champion, mm. so there's some company like PetroChina or like big company mm. to, to privatize, mm. then they did a huge in competitiveness. Mm -hmm. So I think that is kind of similar path yeah. what we did in the previous. We, 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 we are doing this. Mm. Okay, yep. thank you. Then Kusun or Chalchin, do you have any comment? Uh, he, he won't be here tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very quick, please. Yeah, good question. Um, I have a very fundamental question, um, kind of balance between your golden rule, non-interference, non and respect of sovereignty, and yeah. the regional integration is always conflicting, um, the kind of fundamental question. Uh, in terms of the um, natural disaster in this region, I, um, and you and OCHA estimate that your regional uh, disaster management mechanism has been very 
improving but still remain an explore kind of uh, common approach to disaster management response. For example, the Sulawesi earthquake occurred in 2018. The Indonesian government uh, actually declared the appeal to international community, but they declined any acceptance of um, relief workers to uh, search and rescue operation in this area. So mainly um, the displaced populations are subject to government decision. So in this case, I don't, I, I, I want to ask question what ASEAN's approach in this, those case, in case the your member state declined the kind of the intervention of from outside, but still remain the big challenge in the field area. So that's the, um, my, the question related to um, kind of transnational disaster versus your non-interference and, and, you know, yeah, norm normally in ASEAN, we uh, any country does not uh, uni unilaterally uh, intervene to other countries' internal affairs. Only the the issue that the countries can raise to ASEAN, and we can discuss and find ways to 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 help each other. For example, the Rakai problem. So when Myanmar raised the issue on ASEAN, then we can discuss and we can have this with each other. It depends on w which country will affect more and less. It, depend, it depends on the participation of this country. So if you are, you are, you are, you are affected a, a lot from the, 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 the challenges, the, the issues in, in the region, you can uh, play more, 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 more role on that uh, uh, the, the, the process in the process of uh, dealing with the situation, the, the issues there. Yeah. And you, uh, in ASEAN, and, and country here, we all are ASEAN members, so that we can understand the problem. Even the countries in our side, you know, when we, we have ASEAN platform, so you can come and talk with us and we, we can share with each other. When, and find ways how to, to solve the, the problem in the region. Thank you. So why the, the, he, the, the Mr. Anchal Jin wants to make a comment or question, but uh, before that, I let me give an uh, example of uh, being quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, so the, in one of the slides, you say the capacity building for uh, white color workers, uh, white color, uh, which is very rare to uh, see in this kind of document in the context of development. What can you elaborate? Uh, what does it mean? Um, for, for the intellectual workers. Uh, intellectual workers, uh, yeah. knowledge so workers. Uh, you develop our knowledge for the some okay, some then, then you may yeah. better use a knowledge worker <laughs> rather than <laughs> white color. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> uh, I uh, fully agree with it, your idea and your um, uh, suggest suggestions for the possible areas for co cooperation. Uh, but uh, I feel a little bit of um, uh, when I uh, read your paper. I feel a little bit uh, your focus is too much on the economic and environmental aspect. But because the uh, Asian common house, it means we can feel the identity in terms of the historical background and uh, uh, cultural identity. But uh, if you ask your people living in your city anywhere, do you think you you are, uh, you are from Asia. There is no single person mm -hmm. who answer that way. So uh, I think the the uh, you know the between uh, among the me member states of the Asian, we call we call it as a diversity and respect. But I don't think it's going to be the, the some, some of the um, new identity for new common identity based on the you know, diversity. We, I think we need uh, some uh, special um, specify 
some cultural, cultural crea creativity products were the, some of the activities co uh, commonly you know, they shared. Mm. So um, for pos uh, potential areas to co uh, cooperate between uh, among the member states of the ASEAN, I think we needed, uh, we needed to think about the, the uh, gross root impact for the identity mm. based on the you know, cultural aspect and historical mm. aspect. Mm. So this is it. May I, uh, may I assist my fellow ASEAN member here to like <laughs> sort of response, you know, because all oh, of you putting him in a, in a hot seat. And my topic is about ASEAN. Actually, I'm very happy. Keep on asking him because tomorrow I'll be presenting and you have no more questions. <laughs> but then again, you know, I, 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 I felt bad because, okay, yeah. because we're supposed to be in the same panel. Okay, so just to make it quick. Uh, yes, actually, we do have ASEAN charter and constitution, meaning that, you know, we have tried to actually create a, some sort of identity, but what you say is actually quite true. If you ever read the book that uh, Professor Chris, Chris Moore, is it? The first one? Uh, uh, yeah, ASEAN at 50. So uh, I'm actually the writer for Malaysia. Ah, and I can tell you it's not good. <laughs> it's some sort of like, you know, um, I mean, okay, I won't say it's not good. Uh, it depends on country. The ties, okay, the ties. Uh, any Thai members here from Thailand? Yeah, actually, if you if you read the report, okay, actually the Thais are the ones that are most, I am ASEAN, you know, that type of, yeah. But for Malaysia, is okay, you have to depend on whether you are talking to NGOs, are you talking to uh, students, or are you talking to academics, or are you talking to business people? So, um, yes, unfortunately, sir, you are right, in some sense that, you know, the ASEAN sort of like identity, we have this, we are in the business of minding our own business. <laughs> Except when it comes to money <laughs> and investment after you can like see it. But then again, there are principles that we uphold it under the ASEAN Charter. You know, uh, we do have, um, if correct me if I'm wrong, you know, um, laws on human trafficking, you know, uh, laws on nuclear power as well. So there are some sort of security issues that we handle it. But, you know, um, yeah, so it depends on which sort of group that you are actually looking at. So uh, just uh, help you a bit. Thank you very much uh, for <coughs> the right. Uh, before we close, uh, just in case uh, there is a, 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 a person who wants to ask uh, for the presentation. Any, anybody? Any? Yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's not really, sir, a question, but, but, but a comment. Because I was, I had a chance to, uh, to read your the whole paper because it's supposed to be tomorrow, <laughs> and I'm chairing. <laughs> I'm chairing the session. Uh, it's just a comment on what you said about. Uh, um, it has share. ASEAN, uh, okay. It has share Asian values and similar culture. Well, referring to uh, Vietnam. The Vietnam shares. Uh, ah, okay. Are okay. The Republic of Korea sharing Asian values and similar culture with many ASEAN countries, allowing ASEAN and ROK to easily engage in people-to-people -people exchange at a deeper level and deepening mutual understanding and strategic trust. And um, in a way, um, perhaps we can attribute this to the policy tool of public diplomacy that ROK has chosen to adopt, which is the use of soft power. And uh, you may comment on this, um, also the other Koreans in the, in the room. The use of soft power, uh, use of culture, language, brand images, food, uh, and so on and so forth. Well, we know about what's, what, what those are, no? Even Filipinos are very much into, you know, anything Korean. We love anything. <laughs> yes. Okay. And for me, it's it's more it's more uh, sustainable in the long run rather than the use of um, coercion, the use of power, the use of money to influence uh, people of other nations. Is it is it a good comment? For <laughs> he wants to make a comment on. Yeah. I hope let you don't me mind. Let, let me just add uh, some comments about your 
your questions about that. Uh, is, uh, public diplomacy is one thing, and ODA and culture is quite different. In other words, uh, as a person who worked at uh, aid agencies for a long time, government had a strong and very stiff condition that uh, we do not impose any kind of cultural thing to other countries. We respect the cultural diversity. This is the you know, main, main condition. And then if side effect because of that, Hallyu or whatever, has some kind of influence, uh, that's fine. But our main direction is to respect diversities. And then whenever we uh, train some kind of uh, experts or volunteers to other countries, we have inside training before departures. We always ask them, and this is a A and Z, you must respect it. So don't <coughs> do anything about that. And also, just one add your comments, that uh, you said uh, one of the advantages of uh, Korea's OD is no string attached. You said that, but this is uh, a little different uh, interpretations. It means that this is quite different from China. China's no intervention is sometimes interpreted no string attached. It is different because uh, we are sometimes very sensitive to distinguish what is no string attached and then what is against their hegemonies or uh, you know how can I say sovereignty or something like that. So we are right now thinking about in which way we have some kind of string at attached, very soft, but in the past we do not have any kind of string, yes, right. But as a member of the Development Assistance Committee of the OECD, we have to follow international standard. About that. It means that in the future maybe some attached, attached str not strong or anything, not you know, intervention in the US sovereignties, there is some kind of yeah, string may be attached. Particularly on the current administration. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyhow, this is uh, just uh, our direction in the future, not yet. If you look at the program, we are supposed to finish at 5. Well, however, we started one, ha one hour, uh, half an hour earlier, so <laughs> we should have finished uh, 10 minutes ago, actually. <laughs> Do you really want? <laughs> 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 yes, you can. <laughs> Please. Can I? May I? May I? No, I mean I. I could just stay quiet. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, all the talks when I uh, listen is interesting. However, when we just narrow down the topic of aid effectiveness, and the huge literature on aid effectiveness talk about the different types of uh, uh, developed cooperation as opposed to north-south cooperation. We're talking south-south cooperation, especially in the, you know, the, the SDG era. So south-south cooperation and triangle developed cooperation, which means just like you talk a lot about kinds of south-south in a way and also triangle cooperation, which means COICA give aid to Vietnam and the Vietnam helps or the, the aid the neighboring countries. Okay, so to me, it was like a that framework. Uh, I was just listening, okay, uh, your all talks. But so question is, so the, just like uh, many uh, literature uh, discourse ask, how and to what extent, in what way, this South-South cooperation, just like you are doing with the Cambodia or Laos, okay, or the, the triangle cooperation, just like you do with the Kuika and Laos, for example, how this form can be more effective in terms of bringing the, the expected outcomes. I think that types of question must be asked and also must be uh, examined and then presented in the future your research, and so especially for the effectiveness uh, wise. And also, it's, I think it relates to the next uh, tomorrow's talks by um, the, 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 the Andrew, okay. And then so, is it you, right? Okay, um, <laughs> so I thought it was, I was fascinated because I expected uh, tomorrow's talk, which is, you're talking about, you, uh, the, today's uh, commentators talking about environmental sustainability and climate change is a very urgent and very important agenda. Then, w within this triangle uh, cooperation and the South-South cooperation, how can it be done? 
and most effective way? I think that is very important, uh, the question, and must be uh, answered within the, the ASEAN you know, uh, uh, context. Just so looking forward to the, uh, the research, further research, and tomorrow's talk. Thank you. Okay, thank you everyone for your participation. It has been a very uh, productive day for all of us. Uh, we still have, however, we still have more than an hour before dinner time. So you, you may want to kill your time by uh, going around Sentry's area, although there's not much to see. Uh, <laughs> or, you may <laughs> or you may hope to, to stay inside the, the room and socialize with each other, <coughs> socialize more with each other. Uh, or you may want to freshen up or smoke outside the building. <laughs> so, uh, but be sure to be here at 5.30 so that, um, here ma'am. Inside the room, na lang oh. So, so we'll we'll go together to Romulo's Cafe because uh, dinner will be served at six o'clock. Okay, but and uh, one more thing, may we request everyone to please fill up the evaluation forms uh, distributed to you this morning. Uh, someone from our group will uh, go around and collect it later. Collect them later. Uh, I think Miss uh, Yoju would like to make some administrative announcements. Miss Yoju. Hi, um, I'm here to just make small announcements. Um, so for tomorrow, meeting point and time is the Crown Plaza Hotel lobby at 7.45 a.m. And we're going to leave at 7.50 and come here. So 7.45 a.m. And um, those of you who are leaving tomorrow, please check out before we meet. And um, because we will not be returning to the hotel until after lunch. Um, and we will be sharing the collected PowerPoints tonight via email, so if you were wondering about that. Um, and we will also be going around uh, and giving you the honorarium and uh, receiving receipts, so please keep that in mind. Thank you.